Hello everybody, I'm Ryo Shimizu, the Deputy Chief Engineer of the New Generation Mirai. Today I'd love to talk a little bit about this new generation Mirai. Um, as you can see, it's a very good looking car now. It drives very well. Uh, we have now a longer range and it's a basically a reborn of, of a Mirai. We had four points. Number one is the styling. We really wanted to achieve a emotional design that attracts people's eyes. Second is the uh, driving performance. We really wanted to add some added, added value so that uh, FCV, fuel cell vehicle driving performance can be more attractive to a lot of our customers so that we can uh, achieve the fun to drive. Uh, third is the better comfort. Uh, we wanted to overcome some of the points that we could not satisfy our customers on the current generation. And lastly is the very basic of a fuel cell vehicle. We wanted to add more uh, driving range. So first of all, uh, the styling. As you can see, it's a lot lower on the new generation. Uh, the reason we could do that is uh, on the current generation, as you know, the fuel cell stack st stands in underneath the uh, front row seat. So uh, thanks to our FC uh, unit uh, development, they did a really great job. Uh, they made this unit very small so that now we can uh, install the fill cell stack unit in the front. Now I'd like to explain a little bit on to uh, the performance of the car. So um, if you get on this car, you'll probably feel that it's a very, very smooth car uh, and also a very exciting car. Um, the reason behind it is first of all the power of the fuel cell stack system. Um, the power has increased from 113 kilowatt to 134 kilowatts. So that's almost a 20% increase in the power performance uh, of our new generation stack. Um, thanks to a big motor, uh, it gives you that very good kick when you put the accelerator on uh, during your driving. Um, also the weight distribution, uh, the front axle to rear axle weight distribution is uh, almost 50 to 50 and then low center of gravity and also a very centralized center of gravity will give you that good uh, handling performance. Uh, on top of that, we have a very good body structure that gives you that good driving performance uh, from the body rigidity. Um, we added a lot of uh, reinforce in the rear section that gives you that very, very good rigid rear section of the body. So we think uh, this body is uh, probably the best rigid, rigid car or rigid body in all Toyota models. Being a fuel cell vehicle, it's very, very quiet. Um, a lot more quieter than the current generation. So the reason behind that is um, because we were managed to move the stack unit from underneath the seat to the front, um, basically, the, uh, the noise has moved away from the cabin. That's number one. Number two, uh, the guys in our development did a really, really good job. Um, they basically managed to make a quieter unit of each component, like the air pump or the hydrogen pump. So each of those components got quieter. And also thanks to the uh, JL platform, um, because uh, it's being used for the Lexus models, uh, we managed to do a lot of um, silencers in the cabin so that uh, we can basically shut out all the noises that come from um, outside. So on the other hand, uh, this being a quiet car, we added a, a sound system on this car. So it's called the Active Sound Creator. So there's a little button on the uh, driver's seat side that activates a sound system. So we do have two different sounds, which gives you a different uh, emotion uh, during your driving. So it's, please just uh, experience the sound. It's, it's really interesting. Um, it gives you this last uh, kind of emotion uh, to your driving performance. All those points uh, is the summary of the driving performance. But of course, words mean, means nothing. So please get on the car. You'll probably love this performance of the car and the quietness of the car. So please get on the car. This Mirai, of course, it's a fuel cell. So that feature of a fuel cell vehicle that would breathe in a lot of air, is going through a very, very uh, high performance uh, air filter. So the air that is exhausting is a lot cleaner than what it is breathing in. 
this car, of course, it does not produce any carbon dioxide, but also as it runs, basically it's uh, cleaning the uh, atmosphere air. Um, so it's, it's not just a zero, but it's also, uh, we call it a minus emission car. So we made this uh, meter, this uh, gauge will move as you put your pedal onto the throttle. So it's almost like a, a tachometer, as I mentioned, or even like a turbo boost meter um, that gives you that little emotion when you do your driving. Um, it's expandable. Uh, this gives you more detail. Uh, this also uh, shows how much uh, breathing air of a human being has been cleaned. So this car has already cleaned a total of 738, 28 kiloliters, which is worth of uh, 40 men or women uh, uh, breathing air uh, each year. The longer you drive, the more you will clean the air, so the more people will count up in this screen. So um, it's a very unique uh, gauge or a unique uh, feature, uh, but this can only be done by a fuel cell vehicle. And now that we're saying that this car is a driving, driver's car, and we, we really want the customers to enjoy the driving performance of the car, um, I hope this little meter can give you that a little extra emotion to your driving performance. あの、
元素というか、えー、ものですそして、えー、水素っていうのは、えー、電気に比べてですね、えー、と貯めれる運べるという特性があります再生可能エネルギーいわゆる風力だとか太陽光のいわゆる季節変動だとか、えー、時間変動、まあ、そのような不安定な部分を安定して使う上においてはエネルギーキャリアとして水素を介在させることで再生可能エネルギーのいわゆる使える幅が広がりますだから大量の再生可能エネルギーが実用化できるすることができますですから水素社会というのは水素という選択肢を持てるそういう社会だと思っていますそしてこの燃料電池として使えばですね短い充填時間そして長い航続距離それが実現できますので車として使う場合にこ,のほどこれほど都合の良いエネルギーはございませんさらにこの燃料電池というシステムはこの未来で作った燃料電池をですね例えば2システムを積むとそれで商用車だとか大型トラックだとか大型バスのようなものも動かすことができますバスとかトラックは現在ディーゼルで走らせる場合が多いですから非常に環境においては問題視されている技術でありますそれをですね燃料電池を置き換えることでよりクリーンで安心して商用車を使っていただけますまた商用車は、えー、決まった地点を走るという意味においてもまた多くの荷物を走ると、えー、乗せて走るという意味においてもですねこの燃料電池にとっては非常に親和性の高いものになりますそして何よりも水素の使用量が多くなりますそういう意味においては水素を広げるという意味においては商用車というのはこの燃料電池にとっては非常に重要なファクターになります我々は商用車にも展開しうるこの技術ということで FCV 水素を重要だというふうに考えましてこの未来の開発に取り組んできたわけでありますこの未来はですねそういう意味においては水素社会を実現するまずそれを牽引する車にならなきゃならないと思っていますそのためにはこの車を皆様に本当に欲しいと思っていただける車にする必要がありました FCV だから欲しいんではなくてこんな車に乗りたかったあんな車が欲しかったそれがこの FCB 未来だったとそう言っていただける車にしたいという思いで一から実は開発しましたそのためにはですねプロポーション走り居住性そして航続距離ですこの4点をですねベストなものを作るためにプラットフォームからユニットの構成そしてユニットの中身含めて全部一から刷新をしまして一から車を企画し直しましたその結果ですねあのタンクレイアウトを大きく変更するとともにスタックの搭載地も変えるまた駆動方式はですね前輪駆動から後輪駆動に変えるという非常に大きな変更を行いましたがそのおかげでですね非常に、えーまあ、かっこいい魅力的なプロポーションそして走りのいいまさに皆さんが乗りたいと思っていただける車になったと思います。そしてこだわった高速距離は WLTC で850キロになります。東京大阪間を安心して走行していただける実力があるというふうに考えております。ぜひ皆さんにお乗りいただきたいというふうに思います。